Welcome back to the channel, Mr. Better here. The reason why I'm here is for this guy here, it's the Smith's Pocket Pal Knife Sharpener. This is a really essential tool to keep everywhere you go. If you carry a knife, I'll be pitching a 10 here in a few minutes. I felt like this was a really cool opportunity to do a uh, gear review. This knife sharpener is really awesome. It's portable. I keep one in my glove box. I keep one in my EDC bag. Anywhere I go, you're not likely to find me without one of these somewhere pretty close. I have a piece of paper here. You saw me cutting the stakes for my puck tent. This knife is really dull. It will not penetrate or cut this paper. I'm using a lot of downward force. And while trying to shear this paper, I finally was able to break through on a paper saw. I'd like to uh, get into a quick demonstration on how to use this portable knife sharpener. I'll show you that once I put the edge back on a knife, that I will be able to cut through this paper. All right, at this point, I'm just gonna demonstrate using this tool. This is a three-in-one sharpener. You have a carbide, you have a ceramic. If you have a serrated blade like this, you have this diamond rod for sharpening your serrations. Earlier, I tried to cut a piece of paper with this blade. I've been using this to cut up tent stakes for a puck tent. This blade is extremely dull, so let's get a nice edge back on this blade. I'm gonna use the fine portion of the sharpener. And the way you use it is, you place your knife in at an angle, tip down, and you just ride it along the sharpener to get your edge back on there. And what I like to do is I like to make about six to eight passes to get that nice sharp edge back on the knife. Again, I am using a fine portion of the sharpener, and this fine portion is just to get an edge back on your blade. If you were using a coarse portion, this is for a damaged blade or extremely dull knife, you take and uh, use the coarse portion. If you were to break one of your serrations, like you dropped it on a curb and it broke a portion of the blade, then you use the coarse portion of the sharpener to put an edge back on this blade and reshape the blade, essentially. So uh, let's make a few more passes to get the edge back on this knife. Let me demonstrate how to use this diamond coated rod. You take the diamond coated rod, hold it at about a 45 degree angle. And as you push it down the serration, you rotate it on your blade. This is how you get that nice edge back on your serrations. You just repeat this, I'd say about three to four strokes per serration. Typically, I'll default to a uh, Tonto style blade with serrations for my work knives because it's a great utilitarian type of knife to own. You could use the Tonto portion of this blade for self-defense and you could use the serrated edge for making deep cuts in a working environment. I just put that edge on here. Let's test it out on some paper now. See if I could cut this paper. No problem whatsoever. As you guys saw earlier, I was not able to make these types of cuts using this knife. Nine to $15 is more of a practical everyday price that you should be able to find this knife sharpener for. This is a really great filler gift to throw in a gift bag. You know, if somebody have a birthday, if it's a holiday, it's a great, really inexpensive item to give the knife lover in your life. Great to keep in a glove box, keep in an EDC bag, keep in a center console of your car. If you carry a knife, this is a must have item. It's portable, it's inexpensive, and it works. It's gonna do it today for this review on the Smith's Pocket Pal Portable Knife Sharpener. This is a really awesome piece of gear. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. It's a really great buy, really inexpensive, very portable, and it's just great for all uh, knife lovers in your life. Whether you're military, a knife enthusiast, it doesn't matter. It's really awesome. Easy to throw in a center console, glove box, EDC bag. In closing, don't forget to thank your local first responders, your local LEO, and your local military personnel. Those are the true American heroes. It's the better out. No problem whatsoever.